Prince William has spoken publicly for the first time since his father, King Charles' shock cancer diagnosis and his wife's abdominal surgery. As he resumed work this evening, attending a gala dinner, what? We really appreciate everyone's kind messages, thank you. Well, while it was back to work for Wills, it was back to the US for his brother, Prince Harry, who travelled to California this morning after a mere 24 hours in the UK. It emerged that Harry's meeting with his father, the King, reportedly lasted just 30 minutes and that he would gladly have accepted a reunion with his brother, but instead spent last night in a London hotel. I'm joined now by my royal masterminds. It's Lady Colin Campbell and Phil Dampier. Lady C, thank you very much. Do you think Wills and Charles actually snubbed Harry a bit here? Or will, I'll fit you in for 30 minutes and then William say, no, nah, I'm not seeing you at all. Well, my understanding is that actually the meeting lasted for exactly 12 minutes, not 30 minutes or 45 minutes. And also that, that Harry took it upon himself without an invitation to get on a plane, fly over, and inform the king's office that he was arriving. So one could actually almost wonder, who was the visit for? Was it for Harry? Was it for the king? Or was it for Netflix? Or was it a combination of all three? I don't think anybody is particularly convinced that Harry has done this for any other reason but to work himself into the narrative and keep himself at the forefront of the public's attention. Look, just before I go to Phil, I've got to ask Lady C, because you seem to know in your views that this meeting lasted for 12 minutes. Do you have any idea what was discussed? No. Okay, <laughs> Sorry, <enough>. that I <laughs> worth, it, worth it asking. <laughs> uh, Phil, look, um, I'll, go, I'll go to you on that one. So 12 minutes, apparently, this, this meeting. I mean, goodness me. Now, is it time for them to make up a bit, or should they have spent longer with Harry, do you think, or do you agree with Lady C there? Yeah, good evening, Patrick. Well, as if he hasn't got enough problems, Prince William's team, Aston Villa, have crashed out of the FA Cup tonight to Chelsea. So I'm happy, but he won't be happy with that. But uh, he's been hobnobbing with Tom Cruise tonight. But as for meeting up with Harry, I think that was going to be mission impossible, wasn't it? I mean, his priority at the moment is to uh, look after Kate, look after the children. Uh, he's not in the mood. He's not in a forgiving mood for Harry at the moment. And I don't think anyone blames him, to be honest. And uh, yes, the King saw, saw him... Um, gone down from 45 to 30 to 12 minutes, hasn't it? I mean, we'll probably hear it was five minutes soon, I don't know. But I do find that extraordinary that it was such a short meeting. I mean, coming 5,000 miles uh, mm. and then only in that short meeting, I mean, to most of us, it just seems incredible. But obviously, it's a first step. Uh, the King has left the door open, so we can't really complain if Harry tries to step through it, I suppose. So it's, it's, it's a first tiny step. But as for William, I can't see it. Uh, and he spent the night, Lady C, supposedly in a London hotel. Uh, could they not have found him a room somewhere? Of course they could have found him a room somewhere. So could his friends have put him up? But the fact is nobody wants to put him up. I mean, the message is loud and clear. He is a pariah. He's a pariah because of his conduct and because of his wife's conduct. You know, the press can go on and on all they want about reconciliation and all of that rubbish. The fact of the matter is that as far as most people are concerned, Harry's a treacherous little sod and that and he's getting his just desserts. And and anything else is nonsense. Okay. And um Phil, do you think that when it comes to yeah, you know, Harry trying to nudge his way back in, Lady C made the point there that she wonders whether or not this is actually more for Harry than it was really for the king. Do you agree with that? Lady C's not holding back tonight, is she? I think, I think the proof of the pudding is going to be in the next few weeks, actually. If he goes back and he starts leaking some of the details, he's absolutely finished. If he's mm. genuinely trying to make it up with the king, then I think he'll, he, a period of silence will, uh, will suffice. Uh, and maybe later in the year, because I'm sure that I'm sure Charles would, despite all the problems, he would like to see his grandchildren. He would like to see Archie and Lilibet. And they're only going to come over if they come over with Meghan as well. So let's hope that, that you know, just for once, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Hope he's genuine. But if he starts leaking stuff, that's the end of it, I'm afraid. It's, it's never going to recover. Yeah, OK. Well, both, oh, yeah, go on, Lady C. Go on. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. I love Phil, but I'm not going to agree with him. The fact of the matter is Harry is the one who took it upon himself to come uninvited. He leaked 
the fact that he was coming, therefore presenting the palace with no option but to receive him. What, you know, and I agree, if the king, as all parents, will want to have a rapprochement eventually with their children if there are, there's a problem. And I think good luck to the king on, in that regard. But the fact of the matter is that Harry is playing the system. He and Meghan are operators and they are playing the system. And I'm afraid having had a mother like Meghan, I know the games. And I have to tell you, Harry and Meghan's behavior is so transparent. They are, they, it's clearer than freshly cleaned glass. Okay. Well, look, both of you, thank you very much. I mean, Phil, do you want to refute any of that or are you, are you on board with Lady C? What do you think? Is it, the argument might be, the argument might be, Phil, that, you know, look, he just finds out his dad's got cancer. You know, you'd hop on a plane, wouldn't you? Yeah, you know, this Lady C might well be proved to be right. But I think just for once, we've got to give him a, a chance. Um, you know, at the end of the day, Charles has never hit back. And the reason he hasn't hit back is because he's wanted to leave the door open to him. So if, if Harry actually takes takes that up and tries to have some sort of meeting with him, I don't think we can criticise him for it. What I am surprised about is having done that, Charles didn't see him for longer. He could have invited him up to Sandringham for a couple of days. They could have had a proper sit-down discussion. But the fact that they didn't does yeah. go to show there's, there's still a lack of trust there. Absolutely. A absolutely, 100%. Both of you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the King is continuing to recuperate at Sandringham today, holding his weekly audience with the Prime Minister as well. So it looks as though, it looks as though he's keeping an element of normality. So that was Lady Colin Campbell and Phil Dampier.